Hi everyone, welcome here. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you for coming back and watching another video. So in today's video, I'm talking about 10 things that I invest in as a minimalist. So as a minimalist, it doesn't mean that I don't ever buy anything, but there are some things that I really like to spend my money on. So to me, being a minimalist doesn't mean that I don't like to spend money or don't like to buy things. There are actually several things that I really enjoy shopping for and enjoy spending my money on. So I thought I would share those with you today. All right, let's dive right in. First on the list is food. To me, what better way to spend your money than on food that is delicious and nourishing, that feels good to eat, that is fun to prepare. Like what a great way to spend your money. Specifically, I like to invest in local produce. We do a CSA box with our local farm here. So once a week we pick up a giant box of fruits and vegetables and that makes up the majority of our diet. So not only is this great from a sustainability standpoint, right? we're getting food that is in season, that comes from right up the road from us, but it also helps with budget and food waste. So we know that we are gonna get all of our produce just once a week, so we make sure to stretch it out, but also to eat everything that we have. And very little has gone to waste since we shift the mindset of like, hey, we could just go to the store at any time and get what we want, versus this is what we have for the week and we won't have anything else coming into the house until next Saturday when we go pick it up again, which has also helped us save a lot of money on food as well. It's cheaper for us to buy the CSA box rather than buying all the pieces of produce individually, but it also, again, creates those boundaries of, hey, we're only gonna go get our produce this one time a week, and it's a set budget every single week. It's the same price every week, so it really helps us control our budget a little bit more as well. Next thing on the list is non-toxic skincare and makeup. And I recognize this along with some of the other things that I'll name. It's really a privilege to be able to invest in some of these things, and I'm not saying that any of you should or have to invest in these things, but you know, just to get a sense of in my situation, kind of what I like to do with my money. So I use high bar shampoo and conditioner bars in my hair. I use Osea products on my skin, specifically their face moisturizer and their body butter. I love both of those companies. I love the products. There's no toxic ingredients in there. They're all pretty clean, mostly made from plants. They're either fragrance-free or very lightly scented with plant essential oils. And they're just one of those things that I like to treat myself to. The third thing on the list is supplements. I've sort of come in and out of using supplements and not using supplements throughout my life. Right now, it feels really good to be taking a multivitamin, so that is what I'm doing. So I personally take Ritual multivitamins. Again, do your own research, make sure that the constitution of the supplement is right for you, but this is what's working for me right now. I'm finding that I'm feeling really good taking this multivitamin. And I'm also finding that because we're really shifting the way that we're eating and eating a lot more local foods, I'm incorporating a lot less of, you know, the superfoods that come from halfway across the world that give you a certain nutrient. So I'm finding that the multivitamin and the ritual vitamin in particular is really giving me a good balance. And I like investing in a high quality supplement like Ritual because it has all traceable ingredients. They're very transparent about where they supply things from. It's non-GMO, it's third-party tested, it's vegan, all the good things, and it makes me feel good. The next thing on the list is bedding. As I've gotten a little bit older, sleep has become so important and so paramount to me. If I'm not getting good sleep, like all bets are off. I cannot function as a human if I'm not getting good quality sleep consistently. So when we moved out of our van and into this house a couple years ago, I was like, we are going to invest in our bed. So we got a king size bed, which game changer if you sleep in a bed with somebody else, a king size bed changed everything. I sleep so much better. And we invested in a sustainable mattress, but also linen bed sheets. There is something very comfy and cozy about our bed sheets that when you get in, I just feel very much like, oh, I'm gonna have a great night's sleep. But just like I was talking about with the non-toxic skincare, your skin absorbs everything that you put on it, not just products, right? It's it's the bed sheets that you sleep in and the clothes that you wear, you can absorb toxins through that as well. So setting myself up for good comfy sleep, but also healthy sleep. 
And as a minimalist, we only have one set of sheets instead of several that we cycle through. So we were able to invest in one set of quality sheets instead of several cheaper sheets. So our sheets are from Parachute, but there are a lot of companies out there making sustainable non-toxic beddings at all different price points. So there are a lot to choose from. The fifth thing that I like to invest in are hobbies. You know, the things you love, the things you love to do when you're not doing the things you have to do. This is probably the biggest category of money that we spend outside of what I would call necessities are things that enable us to do our hobbies or allow us to have an experience within that hobby, right? If we're gonna travel somewhere to go hiking or rock climbing or something like that. Because like, this is the stuff, right? This is the, the joy in life is doing things that we love. So making sure that we're investing in and setting aside budget for our hobbies and the things that we love will help us feel and find more joy in our life. The sixth thing that I invest in as a minimalist is pet insurance. If you're new around here and don't know, my husband and I have a dog and she's pretty much the light of my life. But pet insurance is expensive. And I know that I would have a very, very hard time having to make a decision about her health that stems from finances. So we really invested in pet insurance. We got her sort of like the Cadillac of pet insurance and it's paid monthly like any other insurance. But when I really sort of stop to think about what the cost of that is, it's it's the cost of like one dinner out essentially, right? It seems like a big additional monthly expense, but when you compare it to some of the other things that we were spending money on, I was like, how is this not worth it? Number seven is clothing. So if I'm gonna buy a new piece of clothing, it's typically gonna be something that is sustainably made. We've been talking kind of a lot about the things that touch our skin, but clothing is another one of those things. But also just finding clothing that's produced in an ethical way, but also in a way that is nice to the earth, is really important to me. But that comes with a higher price tag. In some cases, a substantially higher price tag. So I'll usually invest in a few pieces of new clothing a year that is sustainably and ethically produced. And then pretty much everything else I get is secondhand or thrifted, which if you're talking about anything that's gonna sort of leach through your skin from the clothing that you're wearing, if you're buying secondhand, that's not gonna solve that problem, but it's a balance, right? I'm sort of doing what I feel like I can afford and what feels like makes sense for buying brand new clothing. Number eight on the list is social gatherings. So I am an introverted extrovert, which essentially means that in some situations I am a little bit introverted. I might be like the quiet one in the group or the ones kind of like the wallflower on the side. Not in all situations, but in some. But I also gain a lot of energy and a lot of nourishment from being with other people. And it took me a long time to realize that and to prioritize that. So I will invest in a social gathering, meaning I might go and buy a dinner out, not because I want the dinner, but because I wanna spend time with people. And understanding that that investment is not really about the food budget, it's about what's gonna nourish me and what makes me feel good, and that that is a category that I like to invest in. Number nine is music. So I am a child of the 90s. I grew up having like giant CD books. I love music, I used to have hundreds of CDs because I like so many types of music and I like to match music to my mood. I love to listen to music and I love to have access to many different kinds of music. So I invest in Spotify Premium, which means you have no ads, you have access to sort of the entire world. <laughs> of music at all times, right? And you can download it to listen to offline. And you know, it's not a huge expense, but it is an expense, but it's one of those things that if I was looking to cut my budget, I would never cut that. It's important to me to have access to music and to be able to listen to all types of music at any time. The last thing, the 10th thing on the list that I invest in as a minimalist is my future self, meaning that I like to set aside a pretty significant amount of my income as much as I possibly can to savings. And we do have specific saving goals and things that we're working towards as a family, but it's not just about that, it's also investing in my future peace of mind. There is a certain satisfaction that comes with being able to meet a budget and have any amount of money left over from what's coming in. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for being here. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye everyone. 
Hi everyone. Oh, let's fix her hair. That's not at all what I want to say. She's my best friend. She's a real bub. Oh no. I'm so embarrassed. Um, excuse me. Let's get the, let's pull it together here. Okay. Dustin. Gypsy noodles with the barking. Excuse me, ma'am. Get out of here, fruit fly. Okay, start again. Oh, is this 11 things? Oh, shoot. Have a good week.